Okay, step up. Um, don't necessarily need an exercise step for this. You can do it on your stairs at home, or you can be a cheapskate like me and just build your own step out of wood you've got lying around. But it's just a step, okay? And now this whole exercise, the progression initially is good to do at home um, on your stairs, because initially, support yourself on the banister, yeah? So you support yourself on the banister as you first learn the exercise and then you'll progress to doing it freestanding like I'm about to show you now, okay? But the principles of this, the movement are the same whether you're supported or not. Okay, so start supported. When you're strong, go to unsupported. Stop waffling, get on with it. Right, what we're gonna do, step. So this is my affected leg, the one I'm exercising my right. So I'll step onto the step, I'll come up, my left knee will come forward and I will stabilize on my leg. So I will lock my knee and squeeze my glute at the end and then I'll step back down slowly under control, okay? So I'll come up, lock the knee, squeeze the glute. See the, it's almost like, you know, I'm going to propel up the stairs but I never actually do go anywhere, yeah? And it's, um, you'll be thinking, I think of two lines here, okay? So there should be a straight line that runs through my foot, through my knee, through my hip, through my shoulder. So there's none of this, yeah? And then the second line is through my pelvis. So I'm not tilting or tipping my pelvis in any way. I'm keeping a straight line here and a straight line here, okay? So it goes up, lock squeeze hold down slowly slowly under control okay doesn't look like much but if you're having gtps or other glute issues yeah you'll soon start to feel it a normal exercise burn is absolutely fine a normal exercise fatigue anything sharp stabbing burning like neuro burning not exercise burning should be a stop okay and that's all of this to it the step up